everyone, uh, Deradian here. Um, I j was just going through GoHub and I saw something amazing actually. A confirmation. An actual confirmation. Who knew? <laughs> there was an interview with John Hankey. Um, and he said Generation 3 is coming soon. A new battle mode is planned for 2018. New social features are also in development. So this is big news. Um, I'll just go through the article a little bit. I'll also post it um, underneath the video. In an interview with the Taiwan, in an interview with the Taiwanese Business Weekly, John Hankey, Niantic CEO, shared more information about the upcoming features and long-term future of the game. The full article can be found here with a link. And we've extracted the important bits below. In short, Niantic is relying on new Pokemon generations as yearly content releases. While new gameplay systems or improvements are planned on a different timeline. What we've learned... Translations via Google Translate. Generation 3 is the next coming content update. Coming soon. There's a lot of Pokemon that have not yet been launched, so I think the next secret weapon will be launch of the next Pokemon generation. I hope the players will soon see them. A new battle mode, possibly PvP translation unclear, is planned for 2018. We're planning to develop a new battle mode. I can say this is very interesting for us. Let's see how it could be achieved in 2018. More advanced social features are coming. Hanky said he can only disclose that these features are meant to enhance local communities and their interactions. There's also a separate interview with, where Hanky goes into depth about AR and Niantic's vision of it, but it's basically the same stuff that we already know is the future. Every, everyone needs VR glasses and or AR glasses and all that. But this is really exciting news. There's a generation 3 coming, confirmed by Niantic, by the CEO of Niantic. The only thing that bothers me a little bit is, but it's a translation from Taiwanese, so could be that there's a little bit lost in translation back to English, but... So he says, in short, Niantic is relying on new Pokemon generations as yearly content releases, while new gameplay systems are improved or improvements are planned on a different timeline. So if they say, as they say, as yearly content releases, it could be that Generation 3 is not for this year, but for the next. But then again, why would he say 2018 for PvP? Maybe they, he means late 2018 and that's the difference between it. Could be possible, but yeah. The, could be that it's in two weeks that we see Generation 3, or part of Generation 3 pop up. Because like Trainer Tip said in his last video, there needs to be some battle rework done for a lot of Pokemon that are coming in Generation 3. We already have that with 2, uh, for Generation 2. Smeagol and Delibird, that's why they're not in the game yet. They're quite specific to it. They have special moves and how the game works at the moment they're not going to happen otherwise they're just another Pokemon but the entire thought about them the the entire th thing about them is that they're special that they have special movesets Thunderbird gives a presence or present or it's or it's a treat and you get extra XP or he does damage so that's the difference between all the other Pokemon and we only have two now in generation 2 but in Generation 3 we have multiple of these Pokemon that are different, that are that use special powers or special abilities to do more. So, yeah. What I'm thinking is that they'll do it in phases. Generation 3 is a huge chunk of, of Pokemon that can be added to the game. A lot of legendaries as well, so they have plenty of legendaries to drop once in a while to, to do more X rates or rates in general. So, yeah, but this is quite exciting. Generation 3 is close. It's really close. I just wanted to pop that out. Um, I'll do the rest of my other video as well. 
Um, so I'll see you soon. Hope you have a good one.